Hello. I'm going to share with you in the resources section of this lesson, an easy way to bulk create Instagram posts by automatically generating variations of a graphic template. This process is just perfect for Instagram pages that share quotes from celebrities, or prominent personalities, or for businesses that need new variations of title images when posting the newest podcast episode. Whatever you need it for, it has the potential to automate the tedious, and free up loads of design time. Let's take a moment to introduce this exciting new method now. The tool is called Banner Bear, and it costs $39 per month for the solo, or basic, plan. This plan allows you to create 1,000 images per month, with an additional add-on of $1 per 1,000 images. For our use case, there is a free trial, no credit card required, which allows you to test the service, for free, the first 100 images. For brand new Instagram accounts, and for the students in this course, that should be plenty enough to get you started. We'll also need a free Airtable account to connect with the Banner Bear API. Airtable is a cloud collaboration service, but we'll be using only its spreadsheet feature for our purposes. If you're unfamiliar with any of these things, don't worry, because this video will walk you through this extremely simple setup, and have you creating new images in less than 10 minutes. Let's get started. First, we're going to sign up for a new Banner Bear account. You can either use a Google, Facebook, or Slack login, or just register with your email address, by clicking the Create an Account button. Type in your preferred email address, make a unique password, and officially create the account. Go to your email, and click that activation link to begin the setup process. Let's sign in to the new account from the Banner Bears app home screen, and click create a project. Let's call this new project, Instagram Quotes. We're going to now choose a template for our design by clicking Browse Template Library. If you really get serious about this method later on, you can design your own graphic template, from scratch, from within the Banner Bear editor. But for now, we'll just scroll down, and select one that looks nice for our intention. I like this simple chat bubble design, perfect for pasting in quotes from famous entrepreneurs, and business giants. Click that design, add the template to the Instagram quotes project, and click save. We have now chosen our template, and it's ready to be filled in with the proper information, and data. This being the words, the avatar image, the subtitle, the social media handle, and the background color. Scroll, all the way down, until you see the button that says, Import Data from Airtable. And add your Airtable API key to get started. To get this API key, let's open a new tab, go to the Airtable website, and create a free account. I already have a made, active account, so we'll just use it for this quick demonstration. From the Airtable workspace dashboard, click the account button in the top right corner, to access your account overview. There, we'll be able to generate a new API key code, and copy and paste that into the Banner Bear settings. Let's go back into our project called, Instagram Quotes, and click the Import Data from Airtable button again. But this time, we'll see a few new boxes on the screen. In order to successfully import data into a default template design, we'll have to get our base ID, and table name. From the example spreadsheet provided in the description below, click, copy base, in the top right corner, to create a copy of the spreadsheet for your own Airtable account. Click, add base, to, my first workplace, and open the newly generated file. This is the spreadsheet that we'll use to bulk create our designs. You can see that it has a few standard columns, and rows. Each column contains a specific, and unique data point, while each row will correspond to its own image. The table needs a few edits in order for BannerBear's API to pull properly, but first, let's find the base ID, and the table name. To get the base ID, click on Help, and then API Documentation. From the document that loads, copy the code next to the base ID, and paste that back into BannerBear. The table name is very easy to find, it's just the title shown on the top left side of the spreadsheet. You can change this name to whatever you'd like, but if you do, be sure to update Banner Bear with the new name. 
For this demonstration, we'll just use the default example name which is, quote examples. Let's now hit save, and then edit the column's headers, to match the table settings guide given in the banner bear tutorial. First, the quote underscore text column, should be changed to, tweet. The subtitle column, should be changed to, meta underscore text. and the handle column, should be added to the left, or right, of any of the columns in the table. Note that the position in the table does not matter. This column will be used to show the username of the personality which spoke the quote. More columns can be added later, like background color, which will be shown in a hexadecimal number. But we'll just leave that out of the table for now. Note. To add new rows, and new images to your import, just click the plus sign at the bottom of the ID column. Finally, make sure that all of the cells in the imported column remain unchecked. Whenever a row is successfully imported, it will auto-check the cell, so it does not import the same image again in the future. This will eliminate duplicates in your files. After that's done, we're ready to go test it out. For this, we'll go back to Banner Bear, and click, Import. After a few moments, depending on the number of records in your table, you should receive a successful import message, and the option to, View all images, will appear. And now we can see each of the images that we have created. To save these images to your computer, we have two options. You can either right-click and open the image in a new tab, or just right-click, and select, Save. Once saved to a folder on your computer, you can share the files to Google Drive, or Dropbox, and then open them on your smartphone to post to Instagram. Unfortunately, because of the limitations of the Instagram API, we aren't able to officially post anything to Instagram automatically, or from a PC or laptop browser. If this becomes available, you'll be the first students to know, because this option will save us a lot of unnecessary social media managing time. Again, the free trial of BannerBear's API, allows you to design, build, and import up to 100 images for free without subscribing to a plan. That's potentially lots of images for a brand new Instagram account, and can give you a head start on growing a following on that platform. Thanks for watching, and I hope this resource serves you well.